Uh, my name is Alex Veach and I'm part of the film collective Rawfilm, who is one of the video groups uh, behind three stolen cameras. In the beginning for me, uh, I was just knew a little bit about Western Sahara. I was part of one small action in Gothenburg, uh, maybe 10 years before that, just trying to raise awareness about what was happening in Western Sahara. But then it was for me like, what what is my role in trying to change that situation? You have an occupation and people are earning money out of that occupation, taking natural resources. Very little information gets out. You're not allowed to film in the streets. You're not allowed to send it out. Even if you have your phone and filming material, it can be confiscated. Of course, the, the big benefit of this uh, film as well is that we're part of breaking that information blockade that Morocco is trying to build. And I think also we have noticed how Morocco tries to stop this film in different ways that still we, we were able to get it out and been able to screen it to a lot of people who now have at least a better understanding of what's happening on the ground in Western Sahara. So for me that was the important part of it, finding something which is practical, like that I actually can put time into, how I can support, uh, made it a lot easier for me to become active in the issue of fighting the oppression and occupation of Western Sahara. This film has taken quite a long time to produce. It's been a documentary that shows something which not a lot of people know. It's actually, for being a documentary, it's bringing out information to a lot more, a lot wider audience. يحاول الجيش التأكد بعدم تسريب المعلومات عن الأوضاع إلى الخارج. الجرائد والمحطات التلفزية. When we had the BBC screening, it felt like a very big thing because we actually could get the film broadcast as in areas where it was censored. We could get the film screened over Morocco, occupied territories. So that was really, really amazing thing. What we noticed in this whole process is that there actually was a longing for this film or some kind of film like this to be made. There is a lot of solidarity groups connected to Western Sahara and for them to actually get some material to do advocacy and to try to raise awareness connected to the issue in their different countries, that was very rewarding as well that you have like at least some kind of infrastructure of solidarity groups in different countries. And I also want to say to these groups that now when we're releasing the film online, it's, it's a tool that can be used by all of these groups to continue to raise awareness about the oppression and occupation in Western Sahara.